Oh, when I masturbated today, this evening, um, I, uh, I came on the, I was on the toilet, and then I came, you know, some of it got them on my knuckles, you know, as it does, and, um, I tasted it, I ate, I ate it off a few of my fingers, and I gotta say, it doesn't taste that bad, I don't know, I was inspired to do this, man, because I saw some stand-up comedy from, uh, Amy Schumer, and she was saying, um, I get some joke about how, oh man, when you get cum in your mouth, from like, I guess, like giving a blowjob from someone, you know, it gets stuck in your lips all day, and you're like, can't get the taste out. Oh, that's, that's some propaganda bullshit. I, I tasted my own cum today, and it did not get caught in my mouth. I mean, frankly, I've done it before. So I've done, I've done multiple experiences, I've, done, I've had multiple experiences with this. Sometimes when you, like, get cum in your hand after jerking off, it's just easier uh, to eat it than try to clean it up. That's my experience, at least. Uh, now some people say that's gross, but I don't know. It never hurt me any, so not to the problem. It doesn't really taste that bad. It's not really pleasant, but the taste is really not that bad. It just goes away after a little bit. It's fine. Um, don't know what everyone's complaining about. I don't know why everybody's such a big deal about like drinking cum, but like, oh, should you spit it out? Should you swallow it? Dude, who fucking cares? Like, it barely, it barely tastes like anything. If you don't want to, if you don't like, it's, you can just, it's probably more convenient, honestly, just, just swallow it. So. If you're ever in that situation, I think just swallow it, because I've, I've tasted it, and it's not that bad. Everyone's getting hyped up over nothing. But that's the way it goes. You know, everyone just gets so hyped up over nonsense all the time. Um, I don't know what else I was thinking about today. Today I was thinking about, um, I'm probably going to have a new mayor in Chicago soon. And I was thinking about this, and I think, like, Chicago has, like, more than its fair share of, like, uh, you know, evil American mayors. So you got, like, Mayor Daley, who, you know, was, like, a pro-Vietnam psycho who, like, unleashed, like, some of the Chicago police, like, brutalize uh, the 68th Democratic Convention in, like, one of the most infamous events in American and 20th century political history that, like, completely reshaped how our primaries work because this one guy was such a fucking psycho. He was mayor of Chicago, so you got Daley out here being a fucking lunatic. And then you got Rahm Emanuel, who is like a personification of like Clint's night evil kind of like fucking lunatic you know like welfare cutting uh public housing hate and that kind of whole energy of like you gotta make chicago as gentrified as possible and i think it was under him that the chicago pd had the fucking black sites where they were torturing people that's a real thing by the way the chicago pd used to i'm sure they fucking still do uh, cause you know, you can't fucking trust these guys. The Chicago PD, at least for a while, they had, uh, black sites where they were taking suspects and torturing them. Uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you can look this up, it's a real thing. Uh, so yeah, that actually that happened when Rob Manuel, or at least was uncovered when Rob Manuel was mayor, so. That's another, like, you know, uh, strongly example of his service to the people of Chicago. Um, and then you also, now you got Lori Lightfoot, who apparently everybody doesn't like. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, Chicago seems to produce a lot of bad mayors, I don't, see, I don't know, I don't think that, I was thinking, has there ever been a good mayor of Chicago, I realized it probably like, kind of can't be, because the same reason it probably really can't be a good mayor of New York City, which is if you're the mayor of a major American city, that means you're going to be a puppet of the developers, so they're going to uh, make you do the kind of evil things that developers want you to do, like brutalize homeless people, and uh, make it harder for people to not, you know, not to make it as easy as possible for them to charge exorbitant rents and stuff like that. That's a big part of the reason why all American cities uh, suck so much now is these pe fucking developers have so much power. These developers and like proper and uh, like major landlords have so much power in these big cities now. This was, I, th I think, really the reason we basically have homelessness in this country. Or at least the way homeless, like, because just, I don't know, it's it's so fucking depressing every time we go to a major American city now, or any any kind of American city of any size. You see, you see, like, at least some people who are fucking homeless, which means they literally have nowhere to go. And you think, how the fuck can this be? How can this be in this country this fucking rich? And then you think, oh, yeah, uh, it's, it's because we let these fucking lunatics... Who, who believe that if you who believe that you should be that like if you don't have enough money you should fucking die under a bridge that's what they fucking believe 
If it, and, uh, and then you remember, wow, public private ownership of like, mo like having it be so that like most housing in cities is privately owned is really a bad idea and really doesn't work very well. And that's just something I think like, you know, every, everyone always talks about, oh, what can, what can San Francisco do to alleviate the housing crisis? When this, every fucking city in this country does the same fucking thing, which is you have the majority, the vast majority of places people fucking live be owned privately and be owned for the financial gain of the people who own them. And every single fucking one is the same problem of everything costs too fucking much. And you got people like dying under bridges. I just, I think frankly, it's just time to admit that a, a private, private landlord, private landlording that doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Private ownership of housing doesn't work. It just, it just doesn't. And if you don't believe me, just look at these fucking cities. Like every single fucking American city, they're all the same fucking problem. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are we gonna do to control LA's rent problem? What are we gonna do to control New York City's rent problem? Well, it's it's every city, every city. It's the same system, which is private dickheads own these fucking apartment blocks, and they charge too fucking much fucking money for them, which they're able to do because they're large parts they're able to like control enough either enough in the market or enough a city government that they're able to like shape the shape the city's housing supply in such a way that they're able to do that and the simple question is when are we going to admit that it just doesn't fucking work to have what to have like large landlords own most of the housing in the cities it just doesn't fucking work i mean they look at those cities like you know it's just dumb but anyway i digress, i digress some and cheat um what else did I do today? I shoveled snow today. That was pretty unpleasant. Shoveling snow is kind of bad. It was actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, it snowed today, so obviously it was kind of it was pretty cold. But it was by the time I got there out there to shovel, it was not that bad. It got to about freezing by then. Late in the day, it got around forty. So uh, some of the snow even started to melt, especially like the remaining part. Some of the like stays there after you shovel. That was pretty good. Uh, it was able to, to bang the shoveling up pretty quickly. Um, what else has been going on? I've been watching uh, some of these, some of the OC recently. Um, I don't know. I like Gossip Girl better, a lot better actually. It's kind of what happens. I feel like I should watch the OC all the way through first, then start on Gossip Girl because every time I watch the OC, I think, oh, I'd rather be watching Gossip Girl. <laughs> but Gossip Girl is a great fucking show. It really is. Um, you should check that out if you haven't. It's it's about rich people in New York, but I swear it's good. Uh, my main takeaway from Gossip Girl is that I think uh, the dad, the musician dad, uh, he needs to ditch his wife and, and get with uh, Miss Vander Woodson. Because, you know, his wife, just if someone's going to do what she did, which is just fucking fuck off like she did, just fuck off to upstate New York and leave them all behind, uh, I say all, all bets are off. It's time to go fuck Miss Vander Woodson, because, you know, you just can't, you just can't, you just can't abandon your family like that, just how it is, that's how I see it, the fact of the matter is, no matter what excuse you got, people depend on you, and if you let them down, if you just don't do, and this applies to all spheres of life, I think, I think the highest virtue is when people depend on you to do something, when it's a responsibility, crucially, that you have accepted, you have to execute it, you gotta do it, you can't leave people hanging. It's just, it's, you can't do it. And that's why I think he would be making a mistake to not to not leave uh, leave his wife to go with Mr. Van Woodson. And we're saying, wasn't he doing the same thing? Well, no, because she started, because she left first. I mean, you know, he she left him high and dry in Manhattan. So I think he should have gone with Mr. Van, with Miss Van Der Woodson. Unfortunately, the show disagrees, which uh, I don't fucking understand, but whatever. <sighs> is what it is i can't fix the show runner's mistakes nearly 20 years later or 15 years later how fucking long it's been i don't know but yeah if i was him i would have done that and <sighs> whatever but um it's a pretty good show um i don't know my favorite i don't know my favorite character on it i think is uh is the dad what's the fucking guy's name you know chuck bass's friend the blonde guy his dad is fucking awesome. I love him. I don't know. I always want to see more about his crimes and shit. I like, um... Oh, fuck. She's like a main character. I can't believe I remember her name. But you know Serena's friend, the one with the black hair? Uh, she's one of the main characters. Like, she's like... 
I don't, don't want to spoil anything. But yeah, she's great. Uh, like the, like the, like the black haired girl, the main character. She's awesome. I like her. She's one of my favorite characters. She's always just doing cool shit. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and just winning. Like my hero, Charlie Sheen said, winning. And she's always winning. She's always coming out on top. She's always beating everyone. Always being number one. So she's fucking cool as shit. I love her. Uh, she's my hero. Um, it's a great show. You should watch it.